Well, uh, hello again. Uh, you see, that's my new Acer Aspire 5 A51551 G series. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't know that this machine is coming with, uh, with a TN display. 1366, you see it there. Uh, that's uh, almost full hard day, whole day uh, resolution. I'm not happy with this display. Um, the graphic is awful and also all the angles as you may see are, uh, are pretty strange so I decide to to have a new display for this laptop because the machine is very capable of doing uh, nice things and have a NVIDIA uh, MX130 uh, with 2 GB of VRAM so the graphic is pretty capable of doing uh, uh, nice graphic so I decided to buy me a new LCD display and exactly what I'm gonna do today is to change the display. Let's see if we can do that uh, together. Okay, so here is the new display, uh, and this is a full uh, high definition, and it have uh, this resolution of uh, 1920 on 1080, and it's IPC display. I can't wait to put it on the board. Okay, let's see the connection. Oh, we got the connection here. It's a 30 pin uh, ADP connector. Of course, it's made in China, but it's a new series of uh, display. It's called uh, B156 uh, HOAN02.1. And now let's see if it fits on my computer. Before anything else, let me show you some uh, characteristics of the new display. So, uh, uh, like I said, it's a uh, full hard day, full hot day, and uh, it's 250 candles per square meter. What else? Uh, good contrast, uh, it's EPS. Uh, and that's the name of display. Uh, I found out it's a new generation of displays. And uh, let me start trying to to put it in this machine. First of all, okay. So uh, before doing anything else, you have to unplug the power. Let's unplug the power. We don't shut down the, the computer, but behind here right here, if you see it, it's down there it's a small hole and that's a switch in there and that one it's switching off the internal battery, the battery itself uh, it's better to do it like this so not even taking the power off but also shutting down from this little so come on like I said you see that there is the little uh, the little hole there and let's see what's happening oh and it's off totally off and that's disconnect uh, any kind of power and anything else uh, to the computer and now it's time to take uh, the bezel off we need this these are these are guitar plectrums you see have to start from the top I think just put the plectrum in between the plastic things 
and go from one side to another nice and slowly uh-huh here we go so it's starting yep here we go almost there there are no screws here that's for sure only plastic things be gentle with this because uh, the top it's plastic too and it can be damaged very very easy okay let's try this other side mm -hmm. sounds good almost there so I have to push it here and and take the plastic a little bit out from under the screen but be really careful because you don't want to ruin anything like the old screen you see take it from here and take it slowly gently uh -huh. there we are almost I take it from behind here Let's see if we can do it this way. You see? That's how it's working. Just take it from here with the plectrum behind and this one goes a little bit in the front. Uh -huh. I think it's done. Oh yes, here we go. So this is the cover. We have a little, we have a little uh, magnet here. That magnet uh, keeps the top, and it's also, I think, it's a switch for for turning uh, off the LED. Let's put this apart, and we have this beauty here. The old screen is here. Okay, how can we start it? So we have one, two, three, four screws. Okay, I think this is good. One. Two here, okay. I'm not sure, but maybe we have a couple of screws here too. We'll check it later. Okay, three. Yes, now let's see if we can take this out. Okay, it's very easy. Put it down here. Check for the connector. It have a little bit of tape. Mm -hmm. Let me see how can I take the tape off. Let me try with my Swiss Army blade. Easy. But do I really need to take this tape off? Oh yes. Oh, it's a very strong tape. patient with this we don't want to break anything okay it's done and now let's take the, off the connector 
yeah the connector is off I can put it here a little bit for now so that's the old new in fact uh, display it's BOA NT156 W HMN42 version 8 it's still a very good display but like I said I was not happy with the resolution of this and okay we'll see how the new one is working here we have the new one it goes like this be very gentle with this kind of connectors because they are really really uh, sensible oh my, my, oh my, 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 my. Once again. and don't let the tape to touch any of the connector pins okay the connector is on and now let's put the tape back and here we go it's done but before anything else I have to see if it's working so power on oh yes look there is it working beautiful Crazy nice. Mm. Such nice definition on everything. Okay, we'll do some tests it's later. There lived a girl who was half witch, half mortal, and that girl is me. It's wonderful. Okay, let's put the screws. Turn it off for now. And let's have the screws back and uh, we'll talk about this later okay so this one goes back in the box the cover is on and and that's it and let me have the bezel back That shouldn't be any problem to have it back. It's going very nice and easy back in place. No screws, like I said, it's only the plastic things keeping the, the things together. Yes, here we go. And down here too. Okay, mission complete. It's time to have some tests. I may say it's a damn huge difference. That's a really nice definition now. Let me see this Aquaman. Okay. My parents are from different worlds. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's it for now, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you can uh, change your display on an Acer uh, One, uh, Acer Five, A Five and Five. 
Thank you for now.